Hello friends and welcome back. Welcome back to our little coffee club. Oh, before, before we get started, I do want to give a big thanks to all the new subscribers and all the people that have been enjoying the, the videos. I always say to please like the video and subscribe and all that stuff at the end. Today I'm going to go ahead and mention it here in the beginning. Please uh, guys uh, give the video a like, comment something below. That means so much to me when I see comments and people engaging. I mean that's the whole reason why I record these videos because recording myself making coffee every weekend is like <laughs> what's the point of that? I do it because I see the engagement and people actually like this kind of stuff. So I don't mind, mind recording them at all. They're easy to make and you know I just set up the camera and start talking. I'm gonna make the coffee regardless, okay? I've been doing this for years now. I love doing my afternoon brews on the, on the weekend and it's just, you know, kind of like a hobby. But, you know, the reason for making the videos and recording them is, you know, so that uh, I, you guys uh, engage with it. So please comment something below. It means a lot. Even if it's just an emoji, you know, leave a thumbs up or whatever. It, it means a lot. So today we're going to do a grinder comparison. We're going to uh, compare the Easy Presso K Plus model versus my Brevo Smart Grinder Pro. Uh, the last time that we used it, we left it working, although it is making like a screechy noise. Uh, you know, I don't know what that's all about, but we left it kind of dialed in. We were almost there. I think it was a little bit slow at setting number nine. So today we're gonna go to 10 and try it there and hopefully we get the, the right timing. Now we're gonna be using the regular Starbucks coffee that, uh, that I always play around with and that coffee likes to be brewed a little bit longer. Like if you wanna just drink straight shots, it's, uh, it starts to be really, really good somewhere between 30 to 35 seconds. And for milk based, you're gonna wanna get it a little bit sweeter than that and usually that's gonna happen at around 40 to 45 seconds. So hopefully we'll get it, we'll get it somewhere in there between 40, 45 seconds. Now, on the Easy Press OK Plus, I'm not even sure if I've ever dialed it in. I'm gonna look it up because I always usually write down the, the settings. So if I ever rebuy the coffee, I can go back to that number that I was using and hopefully it's dialed in. So I'm gonna look that up and see if it works uh, from the get-go. But if, if now we'll, we'll dial it in, and on the Smart Grinder Pro, we should be at 10, at setting number 10, and that should give us hopefully a brew time of somewhere around 40 seconds. Now, today I was hoping to, to do the video of those uh, store-bought coffees that James Hoffman uh, rated, and um, I, had the, I have the top four coffees uh, already purchased, but one of them has not arrived. So I'm waiting, as soon as it arrives, we'll make that uh, video. That's probably gonna be the next one. It's supposed to get here uh, in a couple of days. So that should be the next video. But today we're gonna play around again with the Brevo Smart Grinder and the, the, Easy, Presso, the Easy Presso K Plus and pull some shots and compare them head to head. Now, what I wanna know if, if it's, you know, a regular consumer like myself, if I'm gonna be able to tell any kind of taste difference. I've never done this kind of head-to-head -head comparison like this, and I'm really uh, interested in finding out if, if I'm gonna be able to taste any difference at all. And I gotta say that I really, really doubt it. I doubt it that I'll be able to taste any difference whatsoever. Um, and, but you know, we'll chit chat a little bit more. So once I get, once I pull the, the, the two shots and start tasting them. So let's get right into it. Let's pull some shots and let's see if a regular average consumer like myself can taste absolutely any kind of difference between the two coffees. I doubt it, but let's find out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead with the Easy Presso first because I didn't have that number written down. So I'm gonna go off of experience and we're gonna dial in and we're gonna start at 4.2 just because it's uh, you know what's been working for for espresso on previous coffees, so let's see. That's four, four, just past four. You can see the little red dot there. So we're just past four. Uh, I think I believe it's ten clicks in between the numbers. So that means forty-two clicks. So I'm gonna start with the with the easy press or with the K Plus, just to see if. Uh, we can get it quickly, maybe in, if we don't get it on the first try, maybe we'll get it on the second. I, I feel pretty confident that um, the uh, Brevo Smart Grinder Pro will be able to get it on the first shot at 
grinding at 10, so hopefully that's gonna be the case. All right, it's a new bag, but that shouldn't make too much difference. These people keep it pretty consistent as far as the, the coffee they, that they use. In the past, it's always worked pretty much right off the bat. Okay, 18 grams right on the nose. Okay, so again, we're at four, 42 clicks or uh, four plus two. All right, this should take about 25 seconds or so. All right, I'll put it here on the screen as to how long this took. I have a feeling it took a little longer today. All right, let's put this off to the side. Let's get going with some pot prep. Okay, it's nice and dry. Okay, perfect, nothing got in, stuck in there. Very little uh, static problems with that grinder. As a matter of fact, no problems whatsoever with that grinder. It's freaking bulletproof so far. This thing has been absolutely wonderful. Some WDT to distribute and declump. Not that there's any clumps, but just part of the routine. Why not? Okay, we're gonna push it down a little bit with this. Because I don't want it to, I don't want it to get messy. Okay, a little distribution with this tool. Again, I always say it, that probably doesn't do much. And then we start tamping with this one, just because it's more accurate than this tamper. A lot of times I'll have to finish with this. It just depends on how fine the coffee is. If I, if I notice enough resistance right now, I won't have to press any farther with this one. If I get very little resistance, then I'll have to finish with this one. Okay, I, th I think I got enough resistance, but I'm gonna check anyway. Oh yeah, as a matter of fact, I don't know, from the way this thing went, I have a feeling I might have to grind a little bit finer. This might be like a 30 second brew or maybe even less, but that's just, I'm just guessing. I have no idea, no clue. But let's find out if I get close. All right, let me bring you guys in a little bit closer. All right, you guys saw last, last time the scale worked perfectly. Uh, I think maybe the battery was a bit low uh, previously and maybe that's why it, it, uh, it didn't time the shots be, uh, previously on, a, on another video, but uh, I don't know. Let's see, let's see what happens today. Okay, so now you guys know I love this scale because it has that automatic espresso mode. Um, you know, when you first turn it on, you see that it says ESP, then you get this uh, flashing A. That means the automatic function is on. Now when I put the cup on there, it should, it should um, tear, and then as soon as it senses coffee falling in the cup, it starts timing the shot. So it'll time the shot and weigh the shot all at the same time, and, and that's what I, what I love about it. My little Kruv shot glass. All right, let's get a five, six second pre-infusion. Okay, this is gonna be way too, <laughs> way too fast. I had a feeling it was gonna be fast, but not this fast. Yeah, let's just stop this. This is gonna be, <laughs> this is no bueno. All right, let's try again. All right, I already cleaned up everything. I'm reset here to try again. So I started dosing out my, my 18 grams. 18 grams. I'm in between 18 and 18.1. Now as far as the, the setting to try, well, I'm really surprised, you know, 4.2 4 is about as fine as I've had to grind on the, on the K Plus for, for espresso. So this is, uh, this is gonna be a new record here. I don't know, that was extremely fast. So I'm thinking of going down at least by 10 clicks. 
So let, let's do that. Let's go down to um, 32 clicks and let's try there. All right, here we go again. All right, I'm gonna put it here on the screen, but I have a feeling that's the longest I've ever had to grind with this. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. It makes sense, I mean, I, I've never had to grind at three, uh, 32 clicks, so. All right, puck prep again. I already cleaned it out and all. All I have to do is dry it. Little WDT. You know, one day I should try using that um, that shaker bottom that comes with the with the K plus. I think maybe we'll try that next time. Um, see, because you should be able to put it well. I think it's for 58 millimeter, but we, we could try and see what happens. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you see my review of the, the grinder, the K Plus, it's here already on the channel. Check out the review and I, and I show that little bottom part that comes with it so that you could shake the grounds right into the, right into the porta filter. Gotta try using it one day. I still haven't, I still haven't even tried that. Yeah, this is, this is way finer now. Man, I'm making a little mess here. Oh, way different. <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll see. Well, hopefully the machine doesn't choke, but it is a big difference. Okay, let's lock it in and then I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer. Oh boy, I wonder if we're gonna get anything at all. Okay, there you see it, you see you get the ESP, then you get the flashing A, now it's ready for you to put the cup on there. It should tear. Okay, you wait for the A to flash again and now you're ready to brew. All right, let's try again. I gave it that extra long pre-infusion. <laughs> To see if hopefully it soaks up everything and we and we get some. Oh man, just like I thought. We're not gonna get anything. We are not gonna get anything. Now this is what happens when the machine chokes. Okay, I had, I had. Well, we're getting some drops, but believe me, there's no way that it, it's just gonna time out. The Brevo infuser will time out after a minute at the most, and it'll just stop brewing. So. We're gonna get only a few drops in there and then it's just gonna stop. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see how much we do get. It's building, but still, there's no way, there's no way we'll get anywhere near what we need. I'm surprised he hasn't timed out. I'm surprised. It didn't, it didn't time the shot because it went too slow. And that does happen sometimes. If, like, if um, I don't know how to how to say it, but like, if, if it just like senses a few drops, it might start, and then if it feels like it's stopped because it's just going so slow, uh, sometimes it'll just stop or it won't time the shot. So that's kind of that does happen. All right, I'm gonna taste it anyway. But I, well, the first one I, I tasted it, but it was absolutely horrible. It was it was horrible. It was so sour. This one is probably gonna be bitter, but I can deal with the bitterness a, a lot better than that sourness when it's so, so sour like that. But let's, let's see. <laughs> oh my God, I'm, I'm a little scared. Wow, it's super like concentrated and, and sour, but I can definitely tolerate that a lot better than, I'm, I'm sorry, I, sh I meant to say bitter. So yeah, it's it's extremely bitter, but I can tolerate that a lot better than the first one. <laughs> well, that sourness, it was it was not, not good. Anyway, this is not good either. So I don't know what what should we do? Maybe split the difference. Go like five clips clicks up. Let me think about it. I'll get back to you guys in a second. All right. So being that it didn't entirely choke, I mean we did start getting something. 
I'm going to go up by three clicks, so I'm not really splitting the difference. That would have been five. So I'm gonna go up by three. We're at three and a half. We started at 4.2, and we are at three and a half. So hopefully right here, we'll get our, our desired flow rate and timing. So we have to grind again. All right, those are the 20 grams. I'm sorry, I know I said 20 grams, but it's 18. I thought I was doing a pour over, I'm doing espresso. There we go, 18 grams, right on the dot. Now retention with this is not even a thing, so don't, don't even worry about it. Just like, just tap it at the end like I always do, and, and everything will be, nothing will stay in there, you know, you won't have any retention. Okay, so we're at 18, and we are at three and a half, so three, 35 clicks. All right, hopefully this is it. Man, as soon as I tamped the, the last one, I knew I was in trouble. All right, let's try again. Put this off to the side. I've been rinsing off the porta filter with hot water so that it stays really nice and hot. And well, here we go again. Okay, it pressed down a little bit more, but I think this time we're gonna be in business. Let's lock it in and try one more time. Oh man, here we go. Oh, my usual five, six second pre-infusion. Oh, this is gonna be right on. I feel it. It'll build up, it'll build up. We're gonna be fine. All right, so we got 18 grams in, we're looking for 54 grams out. That's a one to three ratio. And we wanna get it in about 40 seconds, 45 seconds. Okay, we have 52 grams in 48 seconds, so a little bit long. So I'm going to take a note of this setting. I'm gonna actually click it one more up so we'll be at 36 clicks. So just past the three and a half. So 36 clicks, that's gonna be my setting for this coffee. And from now on, it should stay. Now this, the 1Z Presso K Plus is very consistent. So as long as you're using that same coffee with that setting, you should get a nice shot every time. So we'll see what the Breville Smart Grinder does for us today. But anyway, let me go ahead and, and taste this fresh off the, fresh off the press. I'll let you guys know, and then we'll go ahead and pull a shot with the uh, with the Breville Smart Grinder Pro and see if we could taste any difference. Okay, here's a fresh shot. I hope that's focused on there, but it should be. Yeah, there it goes. So it looks very nice. Let me taste it. Now I know exactly what that coffee should taste like because I've had it so many times, and it is spot on. It's right at the at the point. Where, and, and although it brewed a little bit longer, but like I told you guys, this coffee likes to brew kind of like that long extraction, okay? And you're gonna start, at least for me, well, you know what, If I, I do plan on making a cappuccino, so I'm gonna taste both of them, compare them and all that, but then I'm gonna just put them together and make a cappuccino with it. But just as a straight shot, it could be a little bit faster. I could see where maybe right around 35, seconds it might be because the acidity will come up you know right now it's just very sweet the acidity is almost all gone but it's no no bitterness whatsoever right now yeah it's just perfect right now for milk base it's absolutely perfect it is spot on for milk base 
if I was gonna have just a straight shot, I might want a little bit more acidity. In that case, I would wanna brew it, like I said, maybe like in 35 seconds. So let's see what the, what the smart grinder does for us today. Now I gotta say for milk base, this is just spot on, man, it's beautiful. Mm. Perfect. All right, now let's move on to the, to the smart grinder. Okay, now I already have it set at 10. I don't know if you guys could see that there, but yeah, I think you could see it. It's set at 10. Last time at nine, if you guys recall, it was a bit slow. There's no way we we're gonna, <laughs> it was gonna take more than a minute. But it was kind of, kind of close. So I think by going up just by one number, we should be spot on. So let's grind and see. But again, this is not as consistent like the, like this, you know, the K plus. The K plus, once you dial it in, you're good. The niche, once you dial it in, you're good. But with this one, there's, <laughs> It's uh, not exactly gonna be the case. Sometimes you might have to mess with it a little bit, you know, go <laughs> go up a little bit more, a little bit less. It's just, you, you never know exactly what to expect. It's not as consistent and it doesn't stay exactly the same, like, again, like the niche or the, or the K plus. So, but let's see what we get today. I think we'll get close enough. I think in this angle, you guys could see, you guys could see what's going on there. We're gonna dose up. We're just gonna grind it right into the right into the little cup that came with the niche. I'm gonna check retention for you guys too. I know how you guys love that. So, well, you know what? How I'm gonna do all of this at once? <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's let's dose out first and show show you guys that part. 18 grams. 79. 18 actually between 18 and 18.1 just like we had that one so that that should be fine all right let me bring you guys in a little closer so we can grind this coffee okay now usually i can grind the 18 grams faster with the hand grinder than this than what this does is it's set right now like you know pretty much let's see at 20 20 seconds and I'm gonna have to do it twice it usually takes like 40 seconds around there so let, let's see okay that's 20 seconds here we go again all right right at 40 seconds it just finished I'm pretty sure it's done tap it a little bit all right, let's see if we had any retention. Okay, we, we were between we were between 18 and 18.1. That should be focused there. Let's see what we get. Oh man, 17. You know, you guys remember the last time we worked on it, we did like a really deep cleaning and there's still just coffee still staying in there somewhere. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to grind a little bit more. Anyway, I'm not gonna show you guys that part because I mean, it's just boring. Let me get this thing up to 18 and uh, I'll weigh it and then, you know, and then we'll, we'll pull the shot. Okay, so I went a little bit over, so I have to take out a little bit with a spoon. But man, it's still, you know, it's still really screechy sounding, which I don't like that. I don't know what's going on with that, but. Okay, we're right at 18.1. So exactly what we had, what we had for this one, 18.1. Let's do some puck prep and let's see what happens. All right, so I'm very interested in finding out if I can really taste any kind of difference whatsoever. Okay, now, I still remember exactly what this tasted like when it came out. I know there's gonna be a big difference as far as temperature here, okay? But nonetheless, I, I, I remember exactly what it tasted like. So when I taste this one fresh, I'll be able to tell if it, wow, there's a big, you know, somebody could tell the difference for sure here. Or, you know what, I'll be hard pressed to find a person that can taste a difference here. Although, you know, there's experts, there's people that could do it, but we're talking about average consumers. Now, based on how we did last time, this should, this should work just, you know, perfect. You know, I could tell it's quite a bit more clumpy than what you get from here. Not, you know, 
not to the point that it should be a problem, but it, it is, it's not, it's not the same. That part, I could tell you, no, definitely it's not the same. The taste, I doubt it, I'll be able to taste anything. All right. Oh man, that felt like really, I think we're not gonna get anything. <laughs> now, here's the thing, remember, this is a different bag. It is the same coffee, but it's a different bag. So it makes sense, you know, it's not gonna be exactly the same. It's like you have to dial it in again. Wow, I, I have a feeling we're not gonna get anything. But anyway, guys, this is the check that you that I always do to make sure that, you know, it's packed in there right. So if you could turn it upside down and nothing's coming out, you're good to go. You press hard enough. It's not so important as to, you know, how hard you're pressing. What's more important is that you do it exactly the same every single time. That way, that way you can play with the other variables. The only variable that at the end of the day that you should have to worry about is your grind size. So with the grind size, you can either speed up your shot or slow down your shot so you can get the right brew time, the right uh, flow of water going through the ground coffee and that's all that matters. Let's lock it in and let's see if we get anything. All right, here we go one more time, one more time. All right, here we go. I hope something comes out. Nice long pre-infusion. Oh, just like I feared. We're not gonna get anything. So, although it is the same coffee, it's just, you know, it's a different bag. So, you just gotta dial it in again. We're not gonna get anything. All right, we're gonna have to try again, but you know, the Breville Smart Grinder is working again. I can get the machine to choke. So before, I couldn't make it go fine. Again, it was probably just gunked up with coffee, so those deep cleanings, you're just gonna have to do every now and then. I'm gonna stop this and, and reset here. I think I'll go like two clicks up and see what happens. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys could see that there, but we were at 10, and we're gonna go to I'm gonna go to 13 because I mean, we really choked it. There was nothing coming out whatsoever. So I'm gonna go to 13, try there and see what happens. Man, this video is gonna get long. Oh man, we pulled quite a few shots here. Okay, oh. All right, 18 grams. You know what, I'm gonna re-weigh it on this uh, cup so that I can check retention for you guys again. Anyway, we're gonna have to because uh, it's been retaining quite a bit of coffee and we don't wanna, we don't wanna do that. So yeah, we're at 18. All right, so I check retention for you guys. We're right at 18.1. So this time, what we put in is what we got out. Uh, and usually, you know, the Smart Grinder is not too bad with retention. Once it, you know, once uh, you do a deep cleaning, you're gonna have retention for a while. But after you get things going, uh, it becomes minimal and, and nothing to worry about. So, uh, I retasted the coffee. I've tried it already a couple more times as it's been cooling. So it's, the, the flavor, believe me, is fresh in my mind. I'll be able to do a fair comparison here and see if I could taste any difference. So let's hope that right now we get an acceptable shot this time. Hopefully we'll be right around that 45 second mark like we were with this one. I already don't remember. I think we were 45, 46, something like that. I'll, I'll check it. But hopefully we about the same timing with this coffee. So let's see what happens. I don't think I've ever had to do so much puck prep on one video. We had to dial in. Again, I had to open a new bag, so we had to dial in on both the, the K Plus and the Smart Grinder, so. Well, lesson learned. Even if it's exactly the same coffee, a different bag, I should have known. It's gonna be different. There's no way that it's gonna roast exactly and the beans are gonna be exactly the same. It's just not gonna happen. You know, being that the first time it choked completely, you know, I really don't know what to expect this time. I hope it's correct, but if you get at least a little bit of dripping like we did the first time with the, with the cake plus, then you know you're close. You know, you know you're close. But when you get nothing at all, you, you know, you still have no clue. Wow, it still, it feels still too fine. 
<laughs> oh my god. I hope it doesn't choke. Let's lock it in and let's try again. I just uh, checked the machine, make sure I'm not running out of water. Cause that will be another <laughs> that will be another problem. Alright boy, let's hope. Let's hope we get something. Nice long pre-infusion. Let's see. Oh, okay. And it's coming out nice and slow. It might might be good. If it builds up here, which normally it does. Oh, it's not building up. <laughs> it's gonna be too slow. As a matter of fact, you see it stopped timing because it just thinks it, it finished, you know. Well, we're gonna have to go again. All right, let me stop it. All right, I think I missed a clip, guys. I'll explain in a second, but I think I forgot to, to press uh, record on the camera. But I'm checking retention. I just dosed it out again. I was at 18.1. I got eight between 18 and 18.1. It's bouncing around here on the scale. And I went up to 14. So we were at 13. I went up to 14. We were, I think we were really close. So I'm hoping that this will be the, <laughs> this will be the magic number. So we are at 18, between 18 and 18.1. We grinded, at, we were grinding at 14 on the smart grinder and hopefully we'll get about a 45 second shot. Let's try again. Yeah, I think we might, you know what? I think I might revisit this. Um, I think I might uh, dial in. I, I have, well, I'm gonna dial in with this bag on the niche. And then I think what I'll do is, I'll just do all three once, I know the setting for all three grinders. I'll do another video and we'll retaste to all the three grinders at the same time and see what, what, you know, what happens. But I think today I'll still be able to manage to tell you guys if I could tell any, any difference. If, but I think I'll do it again. Next time we'll do all three grinders and taste them and see if we could tell any difference. I'm gonna have it dialed in for the niche. So then it's just a matter of pulling the three shots and, and tasting them, so. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, it's definitely just a little bit more clumpy from the Breville Smart Grinder than it is from the K Plus. There's, there's no doubt about it. You could tell from the K Plus it's a little more fluffy. To be expected, this is a very high-end, uh, you know, manual uh, grinder. This grinder, it's actually cost $50 more than the other one, and you gotta do the work yourself. So this one's 250, the other one's 200. The other one's entry level, just one of the, you know, cheapest grinders you can get for making espresso. And this is like a more, way more high-end uh, hand grinder. Man, it's getting a little messy today. Okay, that felt about right. That felt about right. Let's hope that this will be it. The camera's running out of battery too, so <laughs> let's hope I can pull this off. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, it kind of came out kind of fast at first, but then it slowed down. I did do a long pre-infusion, but I have a feeling now it we're a little bit fast. This is gonna have to be it though. I've been at this for way too long now. Afternoon brew time is gonna be, we'll have to revisit this. All right, so we're right there as far as uh, the, the timing, uh, I, I mean the, the quantity is uh, 53.6 in 27 seconds. That's way faster than the other shot. There's no way there could be anything alike. This one's gonna have a lot more brightness and acidity to it than the, than the first one. So, you know what, we just have to keep going on the next video. There's just no way I can keep this up. I am going to make a note of it and next time, uh, you know, we're, I don't know, at 13. That's the thing with this, you know, it's not. <laughs> with the K Plus and with the Niche, you're always gonna be able to dial it in perfectly. Right here, now, I'm, you know, I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, at 13, it was still a bit slow. At 14, it's a, a bit fast, so, you know, once I put this video together and I look at everything and think about it a little bit more, <laughs> I'll see like, 
what my game plan is gonna be but man I you know anyway let's taste these shots and give you my final thoughts here I was gonna make a cappuccino I might still do that but I, I don't think I'm gonna record it because this video is just gonna be way way too long like all my other videos <laughs> anyway guys I hope you got something out of this and I entertained you for a little while but it's just the way it goes sometimes all right, so let's try the two shots. I mean, not that it matters at this point. I think there's no way that they can be like anywhere near the same. So this is the one from, the, it's obvious because I've been drinking this one. So let's see, but this is the one from the, from the smart grinder. I'm surprised, it's, it's still pretty close. I was not expecting that. It gives you a nice shot. It's, there is more acidity in this one. This one was sweeter. Now this one is cold. But yeah, different, this one is perfectly balanced for milk to, to, to make a milk-based drink, this would be my choice. To drink this straight shot, I gotta say, this one's better. Both shots have some nice body to them. You know, we're gonna have to revisit this again. I am gonna make my cappuccino. I'm not gonna record it on the video because this is just, I've been at this for like way too long, <laughs> but I still want it. So I'm gonna save uh, some of this coffee to make a, a cappuccino, but let, let me taste it again. For a straight shot, this one's better. It's got more acidity, more brightness, and it's what I like for just a straight shot. It's more interesting. This one is smoother, more balanced and sweeter, what I want for milk base. I don't want that acidity when I'm mixing it with milk. It's just my preference. Some people might like that. For me, I like the, the notes when you make a, a milk base drink for the coffee to be like sweeter, to have those chocolatey notes and caramel notes, burnt sugar notes, that's what I like. This one still has some pretty nice acidity. You can definitely get a little bit of a, like a citrusy to the coffee, which is wonderful. For a straight shot, I like this one better. As far as body, even the body is very similar. You know, I, I can't say today because like really I have to, the, the shots have to be closer in temperature and in, you know, in, in the brew, the brew time. It has to be closer for me to like, <laughs> to tell if, if an average consumer will be able to tell a difference. But just based on this, I can almost guarantee you, no, no, you're not going to be able to tell any difference. Okay. If you uh, grind with the K plus, or with a Breville Smart Grinder, or with a niche, I don't think you'll be able to tell any taste difference. And your average consumer, I can almost guarantee you, even if they could tell a little bit of difference, they're not gonna care. They're not gonna care, <laughs> you know? It's just, you can make any one of these grinders work and make you great coffee, bottom line, okay? The user experience is totally different. It's totally different, I've said it a bunch of times. If I would have known about the hand grinder when I first started, I think I would have gone with that instead of the smart grinder. The, you know, the hand grinder is just a pleasure to use. It's so well made. That thing is like a brick, man. It's just a one solid piece of metal that basically nothing could go wrong with it. Uh, it stays very consistent. So once you dial in, you grind again, you do the same process, it's gonna be exactly the same. With the smart grinder, it, that's not the case. It will vary a little bit here and there. It has happened before. Retention is not a problem once, you know, once you gunk it up, <laughs> let's call it that. Once there's already enough buildup of coffee in there, yes, you will have exchange. You will have exchange, I'm sure. But is it gonna make any difference to your average consumer? Absolutely not. There's no way, okay? An expert maybe could tell somewhat of a little bit of a difference. I, I wouldn't care. If I ever become an expert where my palate is built to the point where I could see some kind of difference, I, I, I guarantee you I'm not gonna care either way. 
you know, they're both, they could, all three grinders can make good coffee. There's no doubt about it. You can make them all work. It's the other things, the workflow and the niche. It's just, it's so much nicer to use than the Brevo Smart Grinder. It's just, it's leaps and bounds. From the three grinders, the niche is for sure the nicest one to use because you don't have to do the grinding and it stays consistent. It's built like a tank. It gives you great coffee every single time, great body, just delicious shots time after time. On the hand grinder, you know, it makes no noise. That's part of the, of the reason. That is the reason why I ended up getting it in the first place because I make my coffee so early in the morning and I didn't want to, you know, be making noise. So it stays very consistent, but you do have to do the work. It makes you great coffee as well. The workflow is obviously totally different. On the niche, you just put the beans in there and grind it, you're done. And the other one, you have to do the grinding. So yeah, it's still fun. I love using it. And then the workflow on the Bravo Smart Grinder, well, you know, <laughs> you guys see the thing like shakes around. It doesn't, it doesn't like grinding light roast. Uh, you could do it, but it struggles. It struggles a whole bunch. It doesn't stay as consistent, but it can make good espresso. It could do it. So anyway, we're gonna leave it off here. I hope I entertained you guys. Uh, please give the video a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Again, I wanna thank every single one of you out there that have been enjoying these coffee videos. I, li I love making them. Uh, we're gonna keep it going as long as you guys keep engaging. If I see that the people are really enjoying this and getting something out of it, even if it's just I'm keeping you company and I'm, I'm giving you some entertainment, well, so be it, okay? <laughs> Maybe you learn something here and there. We're learning together. You know, like I always say, I'm just an average consumer. I'm just some dude, okay? <laughs> just some regular dude. So, but we can learn together and keep experimenting. Uh, hopefully I'll get that uh, missing coffee so that I can do that, uh, that comparison between the four coffees that James Hoffman tried and, and maybe that'll be the next video. We're gonna revisit this again. I'm gonna dial it and I'm gonna keep that same bag because I don't wanna I don't wanna go through this again. I didn't think it was gonna be so much different. As a matter of fact, how in the world last time we had to go to nine? And well maybe we should have been last time maybe we should have been at ten. Today we're at fourteen, we're still too fine. So I and you know at thirteen, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to rewatch this whole thing and <laughs> see where I went wrong. I don't know, try to figure this thing out. But for sure, on the K Plus, it's dialed in. On the niche, I'm sure I'm not gonna have any problem. I'll pull two or three shots, it's gonna be dialed in perfectly and it'll stay there. I just have to figure the thing with the, with the Brevo Smart Grinder out so that I can have it dialed in. And, and then we'll do this comparison again with three shots. And I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys if I could taste any difference, but I could already tell you that almost for sure the answer is no. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week and enjoy your coffee. I'll see you next time. All right, one last clip. Here's the cappuccino I just made. I had a bit too much foam, so my latte art was not great, but I did get a little something. I'm happy with it. Nice layer of foam. Again, too much foam. That's the reason it just <laughs> was pouring out too much and I couldn't control it. But anyway, it's not like I could do any better than that usually. So <laughs> we'll keep practicing, but that's my cappuccino today, guys. I told you I was going to make one. There it is. See you guys next week.